In today's episode, I'm going to demonstrate practically how to verify your Alipay account. The requirement for verifying your Alipay account is just a passport. What kind of passport? I've received countless of complaints as to whether a um, local passport or an international passport. A passport is any traveling document that you acquire from your country's immigration service. That is it. So as soon as you have that, that is it. You can just use that to verify your Alipay account. Yeah. I'm going to walk you through the step by step without any step skipped. So in order for us to verify um, our Alipay account, this is the phone that I'm going to be using to verify the Alipay account. So what I need to do, open the Alipay on this smartphone. So from this interface, I click on account. If you are using another version of the Alipay account, you see the home message and me. It still means the same thing. So either you see me or account. So when you get to the account, on the top right hand corner, you see the settings icon. So I click on the setting icon. So from the next interface, you see account and security. So I click on account and security. So from the options under account and security, you see identify information. So I click on verify now. I wait for it to load. So from this interface, it says add mainland China ID information. In my case, for instance, I am not in China, neither am I using uh, a passport that has been acquired from China mainland. So what I need to do from this interface is to click on region at the top right hand corner. Then among the list of countries or regions, I click on the search icon there and enter Ghana. In my case, for instance, I live in Ghana. That is why I am selecting Ghana. If you live in Nigeria or you or you live in another country, then you have to search for your country among the list of options or countries that has been presented. Then you select your country. So I select Ghana. So from this interface, you can see Ghana passport information. Scan to fill in automatically. Then we have the manual input. So where you have to scan, what it basically means is if you are having um, the scan document on your smartphone, what you need to do is just scan to upload and it will automatically give the input into the system. If you don't have to, if you don't have the scan document on your phone and you have the physical passport with you, you can just open your passport or the passport that you want to use. Then you see where the barcode is. Where the barcode is we just take a picture of it and you're good to go so in my case for instance what i'm going to do is to click on the scan to fill in automatically you see um it gives you the two options either you are scanning automatically or you are selecting from album so in my case for instance i will select from album mind you this passport is not mine so i'm just using this as a demonstration it is done um, scanning, so you can see that the details that are on the, um, the passport all has been kept um, successfully on the, um, the smartphone. So what I need to do from here is to click on submit. So um, it has been submitted um, successfully. So what we need to do from this interface is to do some basic um, input and as well do verification. So you see um, verification photo, which basically means the, um, the scan document of the passport has been uploaded successfully. So let's go to basic information. So it says um, gender, gender to be filled. So let me just go there. The person is a female. Um, occupation type, you can choose anything of your choice. Occupation type, um, let me see, let me choose other. So from this interface, what you need to do is verify the owner the true owner of the passport that you are using me that you are watching me today the passport that we've used or we are using to verify this alipay account the passport isn't mine so what you need to do if the passport is not yours is to ensure that the owner of the passport is with you so if you are presented with this interface the option that you need to select is you need to do the second one that is upload passport and verify fees so I click on the second one. So you say to continue using this service, please verify. That is, you can see the name of the person or the bearer of the passport face and complete identity 
verification. So what I need to do here is to invite the owner of the passport with me so that we do the face verification. So this is the owner of the, um, the passport. Uh, so we are going to do the face verification. So from here, what I need to do is to click on um, verify now. So I click here. So I'm not the owner, so you can see. So it will scan and ensure if it is the same picture that is on the, um, the passport QR code. So you can see that it has captured her face and compared it with what is on the passport and it has approved. If I should be the one I'm scanning my face, it will never pick because the passport isn't mine. So I'm done with her. So she can, you can say goodbye to them. Hello, bye-bye. <laughs> she said hello, bye-bye. Can you use someone's passport to verify your Alipay account? Yes. But what you need to do is the owner of the passport must be present or must be with you during the verification um, process. So from this interface, it says complete identity information. They are according to online payment management for non-banking organizations regulation. ID information must be complete in order to use Alipay payment related functions. So we have name, name has been picked, um, address, you say address to be filled. So let me tap there. So what I need to do from this interface is just go and select a location. Then um, I select uh, the country in which I am in. If you live in Nigeria, you just search um, your country, Nigeria, and just input there. So you say detailed address. Please fill in your detailed uh, residential address, including road, um, house number, building number, and so on and so forth. So what I need to do is just click on this. I tap that place and type um, the address detailed. So the question is, what address detail are you going to input there? If you live in Ghana, this address detail could be your house number or your billing address. You get it? So I'm going to input my... Um, if you live in Nigeria, if you live in any other country too, you can also put your address um, details there. Or if you have any question, let me know in the comment section. So when you are done, you click on complete. So you can see that done is activated. So I click on done. So you can see that it says ID info completed and that it has been checked. At the top right hand corner, you see done. So I click on done to let us know that yes, we are done um, verifying the Alipay account. So um, let me go back. So you can see that when we came to this interface by membership, you can see primary. Yes, this tells you that, or this tells us that our Alipay account has been verified successfully. Having verified your Alipay account, the next thing you would have to do is to create a payment password for yourself. When I talk of payment password, it basically means a, a, a six-digit um, number such that when you are going to initiate payment to a supplier, a friend of yours, or a relative of yours, you have to input that six-digit password for the, um, the funds to be debited from your Alipay account. So we need to set that on um, Lady Rose account. So in order to do that, what we need to do is from this interface, we go to the setting icon at the right top hand corner. So we click there. So from this interface, you see account and security. We don't select that. What we want is payment um, settings. So I click on payment settings. So from this interface, you'll be presented with two options. The one on my right hand corner, you, I will select it. So from the next interface, you need to enter um, your six digit payment um, login password. So the next thing is you have to repeat the password. Then I click on um, next or OK. It's a payment password added. So it means everything has been added successfully. The next thing I would also like you to know as far as we verifying our Alipay account is concerned is when sourcing on Alibaba or 1688 or any um, import portal, one thing you need to do is add a supplier on your Alipay account. So if, for instance, I want to um, send money, send money to this Alipay account, will it go through? Yes, it will go through. So first of all, 
what um, we need to do from here, I go to account on this phone. This is the phone that we have verified I, um, the Alipay account on. Let's check balance. So you can see that the balance is 0, 0.00 RMB. So what I'm going to do is take the Money Smile phone and transfer some funds to this very account. In order to do that, I open my Alipay account. That is the Money Smile the money small um, uh, phone. So in order to do that, what I need to do from here is to click on um, the icon here that you can see my name card. So I need the QR code of Ruth, Lady Ruth, so that I can scan with my money small and make the payment. So I click on my name card so that I get the, I get the QR code of Lady Ruth. So this is the QR code of um, Lady Rose. What if Lady Rose is not with me or she's somewhere else? What is she so supposed to do if she wants me to transfer money or someone else to transfer money into her Alipay account? What she needs to do is to click on Save to uh, Album on the, uh, the screen. So I tap on Save to Album, then I click on Save. So it means the QR code, her QR code will be saved in her gallery. So she can WhatsApp it to whoever she wants to receive payment from for um, payment to be sent to her Alipay account or send it through WeChat or any medium by which she would want to. So in order for me to transfer funds from the Money Small account to this very account, I come to home and I click on scan. I have to scan this so it has picked this is technology for us. Either I add her as a friend or I transfer the money directly to um, Lady Rose's account. So what I want to do from here is probably I don't want her to be my friend on Alipay. I just want to transfer the money to her. So I click on transfer. So let me just send her 10 RMB just for bonus. So I click on transfer. What I need to do is to confirm. So I input my um, Alipay payment password. So it means you can see the um, from my interface that, yes, you heard the sound. That is coins, money dropping. So let's go and check um, Lady Rose um, Alipay account. Or let's go to message so you can see money smile. Yes, so that's the money that has been received successfully. Let's go check her account balance. So let we go to balance. So you can see her balance there successfully. Um, 10 RMB in her account. So folks, this is how we verify your um, Alipay account with um, your passport, your passport that you have acquired from your country's um, immigration service. If you find value in this tutorial, let me know in the comment section. Just click on the like button if you are a returning subscriber. If today is your first time coming across my channel, I'll plead with you to hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and stay updated as and when I drop a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for more updates. If you have any other questions too, let me know in the comment section and I will give a vivid answer that will address your challenge. Stay tuned and see you in my next tutorial.